What's good, everybody? It's me, Don Weeb here, back finally after like a month with part nine for what if Naruto was a dragon slayer. We're gonna go into a quick recap just so you guys remember what happened. Naruto had learned the flame Rasengan, where he uses his dragon style flame chakra nature that he learned from his father Igneal, his adopted fa adoptive father, and he now is heading back to the village of Tsunade as well as Jiraiya to heal Sasuke and Kakashi, as well as help the Leaf Village get back in order after the third Okage's death. Let's just get right into that part for part 9 for of What If Naruto's a Dragon Slayer, right now. Finally, the Leaf Village comes into view. As we see, Tsunade, Jiraiya, as well as young Naruto finally made it back to their homeland, the Leaf Village of Konoha. Now that they've all made it back to Konoha, Tsunade would be instated as the fifth Hokage almost immediately. Naruto, as soon as he gets back, hears a grumbling in his stomach. Oh, I need some food. He says, see you later, Jiraiya-sensei, you pervy sage, as he runs off to go and get something to eat. Once he rushes off to go get some food, he then would go and get some Ichiraku ramen, as one does. After he does so, he would then meet back up with Tsunade and Jiraiya back at the Hokage's office. Lady Tsunade would hear out what Naruto wants to say. Naruto would ask her if she could heal his friends Kakashi and Sasuke, as both of them had been taken down by Itachi Uchiha, a rogue shinobi of the Leaf Village, on their mission to try and find her. Tsunade would tell him to leave it to her, as she goes to the hospital and then would have ha help fix Sasuke and Kakashi. After the two are all healed up from their Genjutsu incident, Kakashi would thank Lady Tsunade for her help, as well as Sasuke. Sasuke would see Naruto back, and ask him if he wants to fight. Naruto, who never has really sparred with Sasuke in a while, would be completely down for it. Sasuke, as we already know, is becoming more edgy, like he did in the original as he challenges Naruto to, f to see a battle of strength on the roof of the hospital. Sakura would be watching in utter horror as she sees the two of them get ready to fight. You ready, Sasuke? Naruto would say. Yeah, you ready, Flame Breath? The two of them would then begin to fight as the two get into a sparring stance. Sasuke, who doesn't have his headband on, Naruto would stop and tell him to put his headband on as that's a sign of respect between two comrades of the leaf. Sasuke would tell him that he doesn't need it as he's not even going to scratch his forehead. Naruto would grit his teeth as he tells me he's going to regret that. Suddenly, Sasuke and Naruto's battle begins, as Sasuke comes charging forward, rushing in with a taijutsu attack against Naruto. He throws a flurry of punches, three or four at a time, as he then throws one uppercut, as he punches Naruto in the jaw, sending him flying upwards. Naruto would quickly form the singular hand seal, as he creates the dragon-style flame. Fire Dragon, ROAR! Naruto would roar, a loud burst of flame would come rushing out of him as it goes flying towards Sasuke. Sasuke can feel the heat as it begins to singe his hair as he jumps back, dodging the attack as it singes the ground where he was just standing. Going out loud already, huh? He would say as Naruto falls back to the ground, saying he's not done yet as he then kicks off the ground flying forward at high speeds. Sora, who Sakura would have gotten, would be watching as well and tell Naruto to go easy on him. As you guys are, if you have forgotten, Sora is the X seed that Naruto found around the land of Wazark. Anyway, Sora watches the Battle of Sakura as Naruto gets into further into the fight. He goes rushing in with a fury of punches of his own, even faster than Sasuke, as he's almost animalistic with his strikes. You can hear a dragon's roar as he finishes off with a palm strike, sending Sasuke tumbling to against the railing. Let's finish this, Naruto! He would then say as he jumps into the air, doing a backflip as he then creates the Chidori, lightning. Naruto would say, oh yeah, I have a technique of my own too. As he begins to siphon the chakra into his hand, he says, flame style, dragon style Rasengan. As suddenly, Naruto creates the Rasengan, it flows into his hand as a red Rasengan, covered with flames bursting in and out of it, as its red heat can burn across the entire hospital, causing some of the iron around him by the metal bars on the railing to melt. 
Naruto! Sasuke would scream as he goes flying down towards Naruto. Naruto would then scream back, Susuke! As he goes flying towards Sasuke, jumping into the air of his Rasengan. Kakashi would catch them just as they're about to connect with the Chidori versus the Rasengan, as he grabs their two hands and throws them into the water towers. As the water tower hits Naruto, all the water inside of it would vaporize, causing an explosion, as the entire water tower is vaporized into nothing, as bits of shrapnel of the metal fall all over the village area, where he had just done it. Sasuke, who would just recover, would see what had happened when Naruto's attack had landed, and this would cause him to become even more pissed off. Damn it, he would say, as Sakura, who had tried to intervene, had, had almost been caught in that attack, and neither Naruto or Sasuke could have stopped it. Kakashi would go have a good talking to with both of them, as he tells them that using that kind of attack against your comrade is absolutely forbidden, especially with the amount of power they were both putting into it. It's like they were trying to kill each other. Naruto would look down and say he's sorry, but he started it as he points at Sasuke. His eyebrows would furrow as he has that angry look on his face. Sasuke would tell him he's a loser as he then jumps off the building and walks away. Hey, you come back here, he would say to Sasuke, as Naruto rushes over. Naruto and Sasuke's relationship in this version of Naruto is a bit different, as Naruto didn't grow up in the village, so he didn't have a lot of hatred that was given towards him like he did in the original, because he had been raised by Igneal until Igneal had abandoned him when he was younger. Naruto would rush off as well, as Kakashi would chase after Sasuke to see if he's alright. Sakura would go home as Sora ch goes to check up on Naruto, Hey buddy, wait up, Sora would say as he goes flying after, his wings popping out of his back as he flies down. Oh, hey Sora, did you see my fight? I almost won too, he would say, even when Kakashi sensei hadn't gone in the way. Well, Sora would say that he was worried about him. He knows he's his best friend, right? Sora would laugh, and Naruto would as well, telling him that he doesn't have to worry about him. He would pat Sora on the head and tell him that next time he's going to win against Sasuke for sure. He would look up with a gleam in his eyes, as hope fills him all the way, him thinking about his father Igno and how far he's come. Naruto would head home as he decides to go train for a bit, as he goes up into the mountains and practices blasting the tops off of trees and basically just being destructive. Sasuke would be sitting alone after his conversation with Kakashi about friendship and how Kakashi's lost all of his. Suddenly, as nightfall begins to crawl across the leaf village, we see four figures appear. They would be known as the Sound Four, as they have come for Sasuke. Are you Sasuke Uchiha? One of them would say, as she has red hair and a flute. Yes, that's me, but what do you care about it? We've come to pick you up. Our master, Lord Orochimaru, has summoned you. Sasuke would look up as he then touches his curse mark on the side. And if I refuse to go? Well then, the Sound Four would say, we'll take you by force. As they then tell him that he has till morning to leave the village, and if not, then they'll be coming for him. Sasuke would smile as he says there'll be no need for that, as he's been planning on leaving the village anyway and seek in search of greater power. He knows that there's greater forces in this world stronger than even his brother Itachi can handle, and that is what I'll master. I'll master that power. As Naruto would then look up suddenly, feeling like as if though he's been mentioned, he would sneeze, then going back to sleep. Sasuke would then tell him he's ready to go whenever, as he would then tell him he has to just grab a few things. They would tell him where they'd be meeting as he then goes back to his house to go pick up the stuff he wants to take with. He looks at the picture frame of him and Team 7, as he then touches it before placing it face down. As he grabs his bag, he would then leave the leaf village as he walks down that road that exits it. Suddenly, Sakura would be walking as she had gone to check up on Sasuke at his house after what had happened earlier today. She would see Sasuke and ask what's going on and why he's leaving the leaf village. Sakura, you're so useless. All you ever do is be useless. Really, I don't understand the point of why you're even here, because you're useless. Sasuke would say this as he then would knock Sakura out just like the original, with Sakura still being all, I love you Sasuke, with then Sakura waking up in the morning. Sasuke by this point is long gone as he's already been put inside that jar that enhances his curse mark power. Immediately, jokes aside, as Sakura wakes up, she would then run over to go and find Naruto as well as Kakashi Sensei. With Kakashi being nowhere in sight, she would wake Naruto up first and then tell Lady Tsunade about what happened. Tsunade would then dispatch Shikamaru as well as the Genin squad. As suddenly we hear a knocking on the door, Sakura is pounding on it as Naruto wakes up and then rushes over to check out what's going on. 
Sora, who'd be still tired, would be covering his eyes, and he asked what happened. Naruto would open the door and say, What's up? As Sakura would say that Sasuke's gone. He left the village. Naruto would be shocked as he opens his eyes wide, him wondering what's go why, what's going on. As we then see Shikamaru step in from behind, telling them that Naruto will be coming with on this mission, as he'll be a key figure in helping to dispatch whoever's taken Sasuke. Naruto would nod, as he then tell at tells him that Sora's coming with him. Sora would say alright as he lands on Naruto's shoulder, as the two of them would then rush out, with Naruto pulling his jacket over. Sasuke, what could he be thinking right now? Naruto would think, as he rushes out of the village. As Naruto, with the rest of the team, would be put into the position, Sakura would then tell Naruto that she's counting on him, placing Naruto under that same promise from before. Though Naruto, in this version, doesn't have the same kind of feelings to Sakura, he still knows that he has to save his best friend, and so he still feels similar about the situation anyway. Sakura, I'll do the best to save Sasuke. Naruto would say as he smiles, telling Sora that they gotta get going. Sora would fly with Naruto as they catch up with the rest of the team, Naruto landing in front as he had been instructed to. Naruto and Kiba's sense of smell would help them guide for any traps, while Neji was the only one with any type of visual prowess who could help from the back. As Naruto was in the forward, he would then hold his hand out telling everyone to stop. Kiba would then suddenly catch it too as he tells everyone to stop as well. As Naruto would then say that in front of them, they found their first enemy. This is when they find the first member of the Sound 4, Jirobo. As Jirobo and Choji would begin their fight, along with the rest of the team, they'd be surrounded with that mud wall jutsu that he had, they had, he had done to them in the original. Naruto would say, ask if he really thinks he can keep me in here, as he begins to heat up. Shikamaru would suddenly stop him as he tells him that if he does that right now, he might get everyone else inside of the mud wall too, causing all of us to get passed out from the heat. Naruto would stop he says, oh yeah, you're right, sorry about that. They'd have to come up with another plan. Shikamaru would come up the same plan as everyone had found out in the original, as they break out the very back where the chakra is the weakest. As they finally break out, Naruto would punch his way through the wall with brute strength, forcing himself out of the mud balls. He then tells Jirobo that he's going to take him down. Choji would actually tell him that he's got this one, as he tells Naruto to go ahead. Shikamaru would nod, telling Naruto to fly ahead solo, and that if he can catch up with Sasuke, then they might actually be able to win from there. Naruto and Sora would then go into the air, asking if he's really sure. Shikamaru would nod, as Sora would then sprout his wings, as the two fly off at max speed. As both of them are on max speed, they would see two other members of the Sound 4 who would just miss them as they're flying through the forest. Glad we dodged those guys, but I hope that the rest of everyone can handle them, Naruto would say, as he finally comes across Kimimaru. Kimimaru shoots a bone into the air as he stops the two of them, Naruto looking down as he realizes that this is a challenger. He would fall to the ground as he flies into a double barrel spin, landing on the ground with a hard crack. What's your name? He would say, as Kimimaru looks up at him with a dead blank stare. My name is Naruto. Naruto Dragneel, son of Igneel. He would then say this as Naruto would pound his fist together, and I'm going to take you down. Naruto would then pout cover his fist with flame as he then says, Fire Dragon Iron Fist, as he slams it into the bone, causing it to shatter as it melts as well. Kimaru would send bones towards him, telling him that he won't allow him to stop him, and there's no way that he can recover Sasuke back from them. He is Orochimaru's property now, just like he was. Kimimaru would have seemingly covered Naruto with the bone ash forest, ending his life. Naruto, however, would recover, as suddenly flames begin to burst out of the holes in the forest. You think this can take me down? Sora would be cheering as Naruto then says, Not, I don't think so. Not one bit! Suddenly, all of the bones in the forest melt as they're blasted away from him as Naruto's entire body is now covered in flames. <sighs> Naruto would be seething as he feels himself beginning to get mad. Now I've got a fire in my belly. He would rush towards Kimimaru as he punches through all the bones flying towards him. Fire dragon, brilliant flame! He would take the flames from his right hand and his left hand, crash them together, burning at Kimimaru. Fire dragon, sword horn! As he smashes into Kimimaru with, his he with a headbutt, Kimimaru sent flying back. Suddenly, Rock Lee would appear along with Gara as the two of them had finally ca caught up. Go on, Naruto. We can handle this guy from here. Thanks. I had to save some of my power for Sasuke if he tries to resist. Naruto would think. All right, Sora, let's get going. Sora would grab onto the back of Naruto as he flies into the air, telling him that he'll get them him there as fast as possible, just direct him where he's going. Head north, Naruto would say, as the two begin flying towards the Valley of the End.
As Naruto finally lands, we see Sasuke, Sasuke Uchiha, as he turns around. One of his eyes is covered with black and gold, as the curse mark has covered half of his body. Ah, <laughs> it's you, Naruto. Sasuke would say this in a soft tone, with Naruto asking him what's going on. I'm just displaying my new power, Naruto, Sasuke would say, as I finally attain power stronger than yours. I have heard you talk about stories of the, your father, one of the fire dragons for years, and that no one in this world's ever seen a dragon anyway, so how do I even know if you're lying or not? But then again, there's your destructive fiery power, and your weird style of flame jutsu, which can only explain that. This time, Naruto, he would crunch his fist. I will be the one taking victory. Naruto would be shocked, as he asked Sasuke if that's really what he wants. If he, their friendship, their bonds meant nothing. Sasuke would just laugh as he says, exactly, because you're my best friend, I must be the one to sever our bond permanently. Is, is that how you really feel? Sasuke! Naruto would say as he rushes towards him. Sasuke would punch Naruto as he gags, causing spit to fly out of his mouth as he goes flying into the valley of the end, hitting the water and skidding across it. Huh, not so strong now, huh? Naruto. As he then jumps down, Naruto would cover his mouth as he brushes it off, blood leaking from the side of his face. <laughs> Pretty good, Sasuke. Packed a lot more power than that wimpy punch from yesterday. Sasuke would laugh as he becomes more hysterical, almost to the point of insanity. Naruto, come at me! Naruto would scream as he pulls himself up, rushing towards Sasuke, covering himself with flames. Fire Dragon Iron Fist! As he throws the punch towards Sasuke, Sasuke would hold up one hand and catch it as the flames cover Sasuke's body. What the? Naruto would say as Sasuke punches Naruto as hard as he can into the face. Sasuke would then laugh as Naruto goes flying into the side of a cliff. Sora would be watching in horror as then Naruto would watch in complete awe and terror as Sasuke would come walking towards him. So this is what fear feels like, Naruto would think. Naruto would pull himself up and tell him, that's, tell, tell him Sasuke that there's no way he's going to let him beat him here. There's no way he won't let him leave the village. Because Sasuke, no matter what he says, is his best friend. No matter what. Naruto would power up as he says that he's really got a fire in his belly now. Really, Naruto? Let's see if you can chew on this. Fire style! Fireball jutsu! You know that won't work on me, Sasuke! Naruto would devour the entire flame as he eats it, giving him more power. Even that much chakra you can consume, Sasuke would think. Damn it. Naruto comes flying forward at full speed as he crashes with Sasuke into the lake, causing steam to boil over the entire river of the Valley of the End. <sighs> Sasuke! He would throw a punch at Sasuke's gut. Sasuke would catch it and do a spinning kick, kicking Naruto in the side of his ribs, sending him flying. Naruto would be caught by Sora. Damn cat, Sasuke would say, as he then throws a kunai at Sora. Sora would get cut, as Naruto would say, Leave him out of this, Sasuke! This is our fight! Naruto would then jump down from Sora, as he tells him to leave the, him this battle to him. As he comes rushing towards Sasuke, he would then say, Fire Dragon! Sword Horn! As he headbutts directly into Sasuke's gut, sending him flying back as well. <laughs> Naruto! He would then punch Naruto over and over again, as Naruto is getting battered and beaten. Come on, Naruto, you can do this! I believe in you! Sora would cheer. Shut up, cat! He would then suddenly begin to burst a flame as he creates the fireball jutsu. As the fireball is heading towards so Sora, Sora's eyes meet lock with, with Naruto's. Naruto, help me! Naruto would be in sh awe and shock as his eyes are hollow, seeing his best friend get hit out of the sky. As he sees Sora fly down to the, into the bottom of the lake, as his body's covered with black marks and burns. S Sora! Naruto would be thinking inside of him, as something would begin to well up that he hadn't felt very often before. Complete and utter rage. <laughs> Sasuke! Naruto's eyes would look up, as his eyes had now become blood red, with a black line of a slit between them. His voice now becomes more animalistic as he says, Sasuke! How dare you! How dare you! Naruto's rage becoming mixed, as inside of him we see Igneal as well as the Kyuubi. 
The dragon as well as the fox decide together for once to give their power to Naruto. As we already knew from before during the Land of Waves that Igneal had been sealed inside of Naruto as part of a plan to eradicate a certain dragon. Anyway, Igneal and, K and the Kyuubi's power together combine into one ginormous chakra field that surrounds Naruto. Naruto begins to glow a light with flames, orange flames covering his entire body forming into one tail with ears as his fangs become more animalistic and claws begin to grow out of him. His voice now becomes doubled as he now has the rage inside of him that is burning brighter than any flame. Sasuke, I'm taking you back to the village, no matter what. And you're, I'm going to save my best friend, you and Sora. Suddenly, the, the, all the water that's surrounding Naruto is beginning to sizzle up and burn, as Sasuke is now witnessing true power. Suddenly, almost like a flash of light, Naruto appears next to Sasuke and punches him in the side of the head. His neck cracks as he goes flying across, hitting what the wood log that's floating in the water. Sasuke uses chakra control to pull himself upright, but just as he does so, a large wave of flame. Fire Dragon! Roar! Naruto would bellow this as it goes roaring a wave of complete fire. The entire valley of the end is aglow with these red and yellow as well as orange flames. Sasuke slammed into this wave of fire as he goes flying back charred. Damn it! Sasuke would then power up as he goes into that form. The form where the curse mark completely takes over. He can feel the pain from it, but he doesn't care. He needs more strength to take this guy down. Naruto would carefully bend down as he picks up Sora from underneath the lake, sinking into it slightly as the water burns away for him. As he picks up Sora, he can see that he's still breathing as he feels some hope inside him. He'd place him on the side of the riverbed so that he's safe from the attack as he tells Sasuke he won't let him hurt him anymore, as he then rushes to the left so that Sasuke will follow him. Sasuke flies after him using his own wings that he has grown out of his back as he gets to the waterfall right near the first start of the Valley of the End. Sasuke, are you ready for it? Are you ready to be taken back? Sasuke would laugh as he tells him there's no way he's going back, as Naruto says that he won't fail. Naruto would power up as he creates it, the flame style of Vermilion Rasengan. This Rasengan is huge. It's covered with flames, as well as the Kiwi's powers enhancing it as it becomes a darker purple. The flames around it becoming a brighter blue as their heat is completely different than anything Naruto's ever felt before. Sasuke would power up his Chidori to the maximum as he creates the Dark Chidori with the lightning that he takes using all the power of the curse mark. The two rush towards each other. They have flashback memories of their missions together that they've done over the past few months as they've now worked hard to do anything together. As they conquered the Chunin exams, took out the demon of the mist Zabuza, and they, they helped find the Lady Hokage the Leaf. Sasuke, we can do anything as long as we do it together. My friends... You, Sakura, Shino, Ino, Shikamaru, everyone. As long as we all work together, there's nothing we can take down. We see flashes of everyone's faces. Hinata, everyone from Inoshika Cho, all the teams, Gara, Rock Lee, Mike Guy, Kakashi Sensei, and most of all at the end, a picture of all of them. Naruto would then rush towards Sasuke as the two now fight their final blow. Sasuke would say, in order to gain power to defeat Itachi, I have to conquer you first. I will be a real dragon slayer, because today I'm going to slay you! As he then charges as he slams the Chidori inside of the Flame Rasengan, Naruto would push the Rasengan towards Sasuke at full strength. No, Sasuke, we're gonna kill Itachi, but we'll do it together. Suddenly, the burst of, electri of electricity and flame would cover the entire valley of the end, as a ton of rocks come falling from the side of the cliff as damage is reaching out all over the place. As the light grows higher and higher into the sky, we see that the entire valley is covered with a white light. As the two have finally clashed, just before we see the white light fade, we see the two friends making the unison sign. If you guys want to see what happens in the next part of what happened between the final clash between Sasuke and Naruto, then make sure to hit the like button, comment down below what you think of this, and get ready for part 10 for what if Naruto was a dragon slayer. I hope I will see all of you guys there. Thank you so much. Bye.